videos. My son just know, came back home. What in the world is up with him? Do you see out. him? That oh boy. Hey. Hey, what's up? Why aren't you at school? I left my iPad at the house. Dude, who's going to pay for that gas, me or you? I guess I will. Okay, that's good. You need to. Don't forget your crap, okay? I love you. Bye. Kids drive me crazy like that, man. My daughter is attending Marion Military, Marion, Marion Military Institute. And this is a family weekend, so my wife, myself, and our three kids looking to sight see the Birmingham area. It's already it was, turned. It was a uh, so just. Have you seen this cat? I don't want to look anymore. I guess. He looked like he just walked out of a tattoo shop. Are you gonna deny someone just because they got tattoos? No, I'm accepting them. He's he seems okay. I mean, look at Ross. We only have the one locked. Are are locked. And I was much more like, if they look like they wanted to throw a party there, I don't I, I don't want a lot of people up in there because it's just, they wear it out. People don't respect your things. And I think we've invested a lot of time and a lot of money into it. And if, I just don't want that to happen. So we were much more strict. We also missed out on one a few weeks ago that had a dog and it was gonna be like a $8,000 booking. We had two dogs. And wanted to buy, it, buy out all of our contracts. Right? Like she wanted to rent it for like a few more months because she had a dog, man. And it just, no, I could have dealt scared. with it, but Rebecca, she ain't dealing with stuff like that. No, she was arrogant and she threw money out. And I knew it, I could tell right off the bat. I was like, oh, she thinks she has enough money that it's just gonna let her bypass all the rules. And that to me is disrespectful. And, um, and I told them, I said, watch her, she's gonna throw money. And she did, she even shot us a picture of her home that they were living in. This is what my dogs are used to, they can handle your place. Go oh, by, um, Old Oak. Old Oak. She's not clean until this afternoon, so yeah. I'm going to go take But that thing needs to be listed today. She's already put it in the MLS. So you're going to take pictures, and then we can upload them, right? That's how that works. You say that now until it's time to put it in, you have a reason why we can't. And I'm not saying that for the camera. Okay, bye-bye, y'all. So me and my wife bought a building downtown. It's got uh, five units. Three were long-term rentals and two were a restaurant and a dining room. So we've turned two of the three long-term into Airbnbs. And then, and then um, we still have one long-term guy in there. And then we're turning the two restaurant uh, spaces into Airbnbs also. What's up, dude? We gotta move all kinds of water lines. Huh? Where do you want that door? The really? Hot water tank is right behind that wall. The water lines run across the wall down there over to. Have you already opened up the wall? Yeah. Let's go look at it. I'll be in there in a second. Unless the water line cut the water off. I'll be in there in a second. We're at uh, our building that has the Airbnbs in them. There's a few different dates on it. Some say that it was a brothel. Uh, and it was built in 1907 and then other so it's two buildings you see it's two different buildings so um, one was built in the uh, early 1900s the other in the 1920s and right by the Alabama and the Lyric Theater man your water tank over and I think it goes into the HVAC unit over there damn it all these toilets, everything. Everything out, right? Right. Look, look. We're gonna clean this room up and try to stick it in, the, in here. I think I need to use a lot of this tile if we can. You know what I'm saying? Like shower. In the showers. But Becca's gonna have to prove that. But look, I don't know what we ought to do with all these tables. It just jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Matthew. Oh, she's being sweet. Listen to her. How are you? Oh, are you with someone? 
They wonder why I'm scared of you. They all wonder why I'm scared of you. There's no good reason to be scared of me. I'm the sweetest person in the world. Not so sweet to me. What do you think about that? You think that's going to work out okay? Rebecca? What? You think that's going to work out okay? I don't know. I think I would not like to sleep in a bed with the door that close to me, but... Oh, we stop it real quick? No, no. No, I'm just... I think as long as I think as long as it's got plenty of locks on it, I think people feel comfortable. Okay, honey, I gotta go work. I love you. Dude, can you just peek in there? I did. No, we no, did. I'm not worried about this. I'm worried. I got empty. We, we kind of went over it. Like a lot of stuff's trash. I think a lot of this stuff's gonna be good though. Like, obviously, toilet paper and pillows we need. Those are ours. I, I had them on that shelf. We need to, uh, like, utilize a little bit of that space. Okay. I think this tile is not what I thought it was. Do you want this tile? No. That's what's on the floor upstairs. I know. I don't like it up there either. Okay. I think, I you think. told him what's trash? No. No. I cannot tell you what's trash. I feel guilty throwing tables away. I mean, we but if you don't want to in the throw away, yeah, the throw away. Right. Just so have them. any of this trim pieces? So most of that's for the cabinets. Anything that we think is usable, let's use. These, I definitely wouldn't throw them away, but we don't want them. You gotta give them to somebody. And, and then throw them away. And then, and, then, and then throw them away. Okay. Well, yeah, throw it's away. gotta be gone. Don't throw that Coca Cola sign away. Yeah, that's what I was just I brought say, that. I, I picked that up at an empty house. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Don't throw that away because we can use that in houses all the time. Yeah. Okay. Now the wood stuff. Like, like these, I wouldn't like throw away either. But we'll use those. The dumpster. No, we're not right. using those. I don't think it needs to be in the dumpster. <laughs> Where does it need to go? <laughs> Maybe put that up under the stairs in here. Okay. No, no, yeah, but then it's no, just going to be there forever. Yes, sir. <laughs> he doesn't have to throw anything away. I'll take care of that. Don't throw anything good away, seriously. Go. Even like all this, you can give away. No. no. Hell, I guess after 22 years, she's beat me into submission. So this can be loft one with a, um, a bedroom area right here. And with a closet, and then a kitchen, kind of like a studio apartment, and a bathroom, and then you'll be able to have like a um, an adjoining second loft right here. So it'll have two doors right here, and this one's going to be it's going to have a loft up top to have a bed and another bedroom in the back, and all this front area. So um, I bought it completely remodeled. So where we were just at was a, a nice restaurant. Uh -huh. And then I, um, I bought the building, the restaurant owner moved out and uh, we're turning those into Airbnb because this Airbnb thing's been really working well. Christine, hey. hello, how's it going? Good. So here's bedroom number one. Uh, we had some Airbnb guests just leave. So we're ha having to clean it. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. Here's a bathroom. How were things here? Uh, it was actually pretty good, better than I expected it to be. No problem? No, I mean, they had just leftover food. Everything was fine. What is this stuff? That's the stuff they left in the fridge, and they gave y'all bottles of wine and left a note saying thank you for your hospitality. That's cool of them, right? Yeah, that was really sweet. Look at this. Dude, I had to pinch myself every time I come up here. But man, every night there's a breeze coming up this alley. Vulcan's right there. Regent's Field is right there. Shoots fireworks sometimes, man. You can see the fireworks right there. It's pretty, it's great. These are two more units. I'll show you this one here. Clean, smells good. We kind of have a theme in here though, with this Airbnb, obviously a Birmingham theme. The one upstairs pulls $2.99 a night. This one pulls $200 a night. Wow. 
and the only reason the one upstairs is more is because of the rooftop terrace. So these are already kind of done. We just painted the walls, painted the cabinets. Oh, really? And um, did all the decorations, all the furniture. It was just empty. Me and my wife uh, were trying to buy a building here for probably two or three years looking. And we finally, this one hit the market. And uh, it wasn't the best buy in the world, but everything had been redone, so it just kind of made sense for us. We want to eventually live in this thing. It's, it's what we really wanted to do. We want to own a piece of Birmingham.